Hello. Hi. I didn't expect to find you here. Oh, I've been coming every day since uh, my secret is no longer a secret. I've been coming here almost every day myself. Yes, the staff told me. Looking at her, I just... I find it so hard to believe that she's ours. I imagine it is very difficult for you to comprehend that, isn't it? Four perfect children and then for absolutely no reason one less than perfect child. And there is no answer for you, is there? No, no, there isn't. I've talked to doctors and specialists, as I know you have. And no, there is no answer. Eric, I appreciate and I'm grateful for your involvement now. It was very lonely for a long time when it was just myself and Angela and the doctors. I was going to say I can imagine, but I really can't. I never knew you could be so patient. I never knew I had such patience. Amazing what you find out about yourself when you go through a little adversity. You're talking about more than Angela now. Am I? Are you losing weight? You eating enough food? No. Not that you couldn't stand to lose a pound or two. Don't be cruel, Stephanie. You're doing it for her. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe she's trying to say something or to tell us something? No. There is no awareness, Eric. There never has been and there never will be. Doctors have been wrong before. Maybe we should pray to God that they're wrong about this. All right, Eric. We'll pray to God that things are different. <laughs> 